Racing on Wednesday here at Hollywood Bets Gravel, we had eight races on the program and race number one went the way of the Hollywood Syndicate owned Sweet Julia over the 1000 meter trip in a thrilling finish. Side. The first time a son in my pocket running a race down the middle. However, sweet Julia comes home. Son in my pocket's a huge runner at the 200 meter marker. And number eight, son in my pocket and sweet Julia, there's nothing in it. But son in my pocket hits the front late on. Sweet Julia's coming right back. Race number two over 1400 meters and uh, just having a look at that, I had to have a second look at that because wow that was tight there between Sweet Julia and Sun in my pocket for that first place but uh, as the judge confirmed the seven did get up beating number eight. Race number two over 1400 meters it was number six and Air of Pride who got the job done. Pompadour is going to try and come through and Long Street towards the inside. Here's where an air of pride gets given the full go ahead past the 200. Only by a neck. Long Street's making a race of it on the inside. An air of pride by this long neck. Grand occasion the outside and Long Street. An air of pride is going on though for a length victory. Long Street second. Grand occasion. Race number three on the day over 1700 meters. Well, it was the banker on the card. Number seven, Palermo, your winner. 300 to go and Palermo comes into the lead a length and a quarter. Animal impacts come out the pack. Roman's revenge no more to offer. 100 meters left to go. Palermo moving like the wind and that's it. Feeding his focus, not his distractions by five. Second... Race number four on the day went the way of horse number four, Canford Queen for Gareth Van Zyl and Jason Gates going from start to finish. English Primrose Natalia. Canford Queen at the 300 continues to find. Doctor's orders along the inside. What's up, Buttercup starting the engine on the outside at the 200. Three lengths to make up. But it's Canford Queen with a useful advantage. Doctor's orders along the inside. The main danger. What's up, Buttercup? Canford Queen's clinging on for the victory. Canford Queen from Doctor's orders. Race number five over 1,000 meters. It was number four. Yamadori who led them a merry dance. Back third. B-52s hooked to the outside. Russian Dolls trying to make a race of it. Inside the final 250 and Yamadori hot up against the inside. The challenges are now coming. B-52 super fast. But Yamadori's kicking into another gear the last hundred. And Yamadori switched on for victory. Russian Dolls second. Race number six on the day went the way of the Hollywood Syndicate owned number two Ibuto. Is coming to the 300 meter mark of the one to get a hold of. Ibuto goes towards the inside, looking to run on Beechamwood Boy, Mr. Master Starter, Nelson Bay. Ibuto's running a cracker along the inside. Yes, Ibuto coming with long lengthy strides. Rosh Kadesh is flashing out the pack, but Ibuto's won it. Rosh Kadesh. Race number seven on the day, this was no doubt the tightest finish on the afternoon with numbers four and seven going to the line as one Hollywood Syndicate looking for three, Richard Free looking to get his first winner this afternoon and it was Richard that got the job done with number seven, Vion's Queen. Imperious Destiny and Vion's Queen, these are the two. Miss Leal is on the inside, then Woodland Glade. Vion's Queen on the outside, but Imperious Destiny's as game as they come and fights right back along the inside. And there's no stopping Imperious Destiny and Vion's Queen eyeball to eyeball as they go to the line. Race number eight on the day over 1600 meters. It was number eight, King's Island, that uh, got the job done here. Sean Veal. Well, he was aboard Kings Island for Stuart Ferry and it was a nice double on the day for Sean with uh, Kings Island and Yamadori winning early on, but it was all about the son of fire away in the last. Stations was going to go in, but has to come out and Kings Island's a big runner down the middle. Look at Kings Island putting in a sustained run at the 200 meter marker. That's the one to beat. Porfirio's running on all around the world's under pressure. Bomb bombs come from nowhere, but it's Kings Island running a bold race to win it. Porfirio's second. Well, that wraps it up for racing on the poly track on this Wednesday. More racing action coming your way 
Saturday in KZN on Saturday, where there's, of course, Hollywood Bets Gold Challenge race day, where they race for a gross stake of 2 million rand, and it's uh, set to be an exciting contest. Lots of top quality horses on show, and looking forward to the race meeting on Saturday.